Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome to another bill search video here on Variety and Errors. Thank you so much if you joined our giveaway, and shame, shame if you missed it. I have posted a list of just the first names of the winners on VarietyAirs.com right on the giveaway page. So hop over there if you won. Congratulations. If you didn't win, then there's always the next giveaway. So keep sharing the channel. Keep sending and sharing the channel to your friends and stuff like that if you are into currency and they are into currency. And of course, hop over to our other channel, Game On, if you like trading card games, comic books, vinyls, all the collectible stuff. But without further ado, let's jump right into this bill search video. Uh, going through a good mix of bills here. All circulated, let's see if we find anything worth more than face value. Starting off with a series. 2017 $10 note, series dates right down the bottom left on $10 banknotes. Uh, nice depiction of Hamilton on the note. Uh, nothing crazy about $10 bills as far as historically. Uh, they haven't changed uh, U.S. banknotes too much aside from early 2000s redesigns and reintroduction of bills like uh, the bicentennial re reintroduction of the $2 bill. We covered that in our $2 bill search uh, in the last... Uh, video, so I won't touch on something that's not in this video. But anyway, looking for uh, fancy serial numbers, issues with ink, print issues, such things such as that. Uh, nothing really hopping out on the front of the note for me. And... Nope. Sorry, I thought it saw a little ink issue going on there. Nice and uh, creased up. This was definitely in a pocket. At some point, really cool depiction of the U.S. Treasury Building. Really cool tour if you ever want to take one. If you're in Washington uh, and you go to the U.S. Treasury Building, nothing on that note. So as I throw everything around, I'll go a little bit quicker through these. Really beat up Series 2013 one dollar note. You know, Series 2013 notes are now hitting eight years old, nine years old. Well, eight years old. I can't really do basic math. Um, and so those bills are hitting kind of the end of their life. As you can see with the depletion of the color and the quality of the bill, yet the seals and serial numbers seem nice and bright. That's kind of an ode to the way banknotes are printed in the U.S., which is in a three-phase process. Some of the, It's an intaglio process where some things are printed on the bill, some things are printed in the bill, uh, and that would explain why the seals and serial numbers uh, seem to hold up a lot longer than the remainder of the note. Nothing really crazy, nothing in the serial number, nothing in the seals, no shifts or anything like that. Let's check out the back of the note, nice and ripped up. Sometimes you can see some uh, ink issues around the shield on the front of the seal here, or around the eye or the base of the pyramid, uh, where it says a new acceptus on the left side of $1 banknotes. Uh, but nothing here. $20 note, also beat up. Got a wonky eye on Jackson here from uh, the damage to the bill. Been folded uh, in half. Nothing in the serial number that pops out at me. Now, main things we're looking for is fancy serial numbers. Those are things with patterns in the serial number. So that's going to be ones that have uh, repetitious numbers, and by repetitious, I don't mean one or two numbers, like in this serial number, we have more than one, two, and six, and stuff like that, uh, but something that would be like threes blocked together, and then zeros, or blocks of numbers, uh, patterns like uh, the same numbers forwards and then backwards, uh, that would be a radar note, stuff like that. Birthday notes, date notes, depicting dates, since there's eight digits in a serial number on U.S. currency. Uh, a lot of people collect birthday notes if their birthday is in the serial number or their wedding anniversary, uh, an important historical date, so on and so forth. A lot of you that watch my channel know that, but that's for more than newcomers. I don't want to be exclusive just to people who watch the channel, of course. This is more of a beginner's uh, type of video where we go through. And then, of course, if you enjoy seeing me uh, find stuff and not find stuff. Series 2009, $1 note, also really beat up. Nothing crazy in the serial number. A little bit of shift in the seal down, but not enough for me to uh, call it collectible. And 
lots of damage to the back of the note. So even if there was something collectible on it, it'd be hard to tell with the amount of damage to this note. Uh, series 2013 note. So 2017s are going to be the newest uh, series of U.S. bank notes. So this one's last series. 2013s, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, are hitting end of life, but they'll be around for quite some time. $1 notes are used more than anything else. This one's got some blood or something on it. That's cool. You know, I think with uh, notes, it's really, hey, 77. That is the year my dad graduated high school. Coincidentally, is also the uh, year in Dazed and Confused that they are becoming the class of 77. So, rando fact for you. 2006 series $1 note. Now, I see something a little funky. We got a little bit of stray inking around this uh, 2006 series date and signature, stuff like that. But that could just be maybe the bill got wet at some point. Fix the corner there. And that's, you know, this depletion in color on this 7, 5, and 4 kind of throws to possibly the bill. I mean, one, it's damaged. And then also it might have gotten wet at one point. You generally see those signs after a note has had moisture on it. Back of the note, really, really good. Uh, well, not so much the back of the seal, but the front of the seal here with the depiction of the eagle, the 13 uh, lines on the shield, 13 arrows, the olive branch, all that stuff actually looks pretty good on this note still. Once again, you can find some stuff that's usually around where it says E Pluribus Unum, and then also some blurring between the lines on the shield. Nothing on that note, though. Hey, so kind of a cool 80 and 80 on the end. I wish we had a block in the middle here. We'd kind of have like a bookend block fancy serial number situation. Not so much in this one. 2017 series $1 note. Uh, K is for Dallas, Texas, as far as the uh, Federal Reserve Bank seal here little bit of a shift of this seal it's usually this edge of the seal here should be sitting kind of touching this little chevron which is the center of the e there but not far enough off where i would uh call it an error but something to keep an eye out for if you watched a previous video of mine we had one that was really really shifted uh, and that one i held on to series 2013 20 dollar banknote lot better condition than the rest of the stuff we've gone through so far. A little bit of blue ink up here, most likely from, a, I don't know, just a ballpoint pen or a marker or something. Sometimes banks and or uh, businesses will just mark the whole strap of notes to kind of be like, hey, we got this strap of notes. Uh, not so much for anti-counterfeiting thing. Nothing really jumping out at me. Sometimes you'll see little issues right up here. These little mini 20s form a constellation, so to speak, called Urion, uh, spelled E-U-R-I-O-N. That is an anti-counterfeiting measure implemented, uh, I believe, in the 90s, actually, but correct me if I'm wrong, and then they enhanced it in the early 2000s. Um, but sometimes you get a little print errors around that. Series 2013, $1 note. Nothing really crazy going on there. This one's probably the better of the ones that we've come across so far. You know, ones have not been changed since the 50s. They added in God We Trust onto them. That was about it. Uh, to really keep, you know, separation between church and state and stuff. But, uh, and they kind of changed up a little enhancements. They added uh, nothing really crazy as far as anti-counterfeiting measures. But many people were gesturing that $1 notes... Uh, we're going to go through a redesign in the 2020s, but then it was postponed due to, the, to uh, coronavirus. So we'll see if that's a, a thing in the next few years. There we go. Nice little star note. So we're getting a little bit of uh, something something on this uh, bill search. As you guys know, if you watch my channel uh, or if you're new to the channel, I just love star notes. I always wonder, like, what happened to the thing? Did it light on fire? Because it's a replacement note. Essentially, something happened in the production of the bill, so they had to replace it. Uh, but for continuity reasons, they maintain the serial number, so they drop uh, the lettering at the end and replace it with a star, hence the name, star note. 
uh, but it is a replacement note. So I just always wonder like what happened to it. Still, I like star notes. I like to hold on to them. I really more so enjoy them if they have a fancy serial number and they're a star note. Uh, but in this case, it's just a good old replacement note. Aside from that, it's series 2017A, so a little bit smaller series run than uh, 2017, the main run there. And aside from that, nothing really crazy jumping out at me as far as errors or any issues on the note. Uh, thought we had a little print issue right here around kind of the shadow of the E, but not so much. So I'm still going to hold on to it as like a little prize for this bill search, a little star note. Getting down there, we're on the last two. We'll just do them at the same time. Why not? 2013 series notes. Top note. Got a little bit of an over ink on the seven, but as you can see, same dealio here. This is a good example of the repetitious numbers I was talking about. Although this bill has lots of sevens in it, four of them. If they were clumped together and, say, we had zeros or eights or ones or twos clumped together, meaning it had just uh, two, maybe three numbers being a binary or trinary note, then I'd hold on to it. That would be pretty cool as kind of a repetitious uh, fancy serial number. In this case, it's just a bunch of sevens. I think the best note as far as repetitious numbers I've found was one of my very first ones a, a few years back. And that was one that was 777-00777. That was one of the best notes I found, and I sold that to somebody. It was on a $20 bank note, but I think I sold it for about 60, 70 bucks. So you can't beat that to turn a regular note into more money. On the top note, nothing really going on there either. A little bit of shift in the seal, but not enough for us to jump for joy. On the back of the two notes, the bottom one's in a little slightly better condition than the top one. Both have pretty good color. Both are not too badly beat up. So printed appropriately. They're not uh, shifted or anything like that with too little or too much margins going on around the depiction on the reverse of the note. So nothing really collectible there. So not too crazy of a bill search. We found ourselves a really nice star note, although it's a little beat up. I'll fix the corners and put it in a sleeve for now. And then down the road, I usually gather up my star notes that don't have fancy serial numbers, and I shoot them back out into circulation for other people to grab onto. As always, let me know what you've come across in your coin and bill searches lately in the comments below. I will meet you there so we can discuss money. One of my favorite things to talk about, hopefully yours too. And I will see you in the next video.